Hello all, Dswank here. I'm back in Star Trek Armada. And we're going to start a run through the campaign mode. We'll start with premonitions. And we'll just see how, um, how long each episode is. It may, we, starting out, I may go one mission per episode. I may keep that. All right, so this is kind of their tutorial mission. We grab our construction ship. We build our star base. We'll move the ships forward. We have the Templar, the Jupiter, and the Enterprise. Mm -hmm. Now, I've had a couple of conversations on the Do You Remember video, most of them talking about Armada 2. And I'm probably going to do a spotlight and a playthrough of Armada 2 as well once I'm done with this. What I'm thinking is, do Armada 1 and 2, maybe Bridge Commander, maybe Klingon Academy if I can dig out the game, find all the discs for it, and I'm also thinking about doing the Star War, doing a playthrough of all of the, uh, like, Dark... The Kyle Katarn series of games. Uh, they event. It starts with Dark Forces, which I've played through the first Dark Forces already. I believe. I'll have to double check. Um, and then go through that all the way to the last of the Jedi Knight games. And do that, because. I mean, that feels much more in line with what this um, channel originally was. And it's a lot less of Space Engineers, <laughs> uh, Seven Days, some form of Minecraft, Sins of a Solar Empire, which, I mean, I don't blame Sins. Sins is solid, and they've got a new Sins game coming out. But really, my, that my my channel devolved into those four games, and I want to do more than that. I want to play a lot of these classic nostalgia games, and I'll probably do this. I'll probably do um. I'll probably give. Homeworld series a proper try post Homeworld 3. So well Oh no, Dominion attack ships. Okay, I can't build anything else.
Oh, no. We just killed some people by teleporting them over. Oops. How many people do... How much crew does that place thing have? Okay. Okay, you... Start mining. Ninety folks on a Jim Hadar destroyer. Doesn't really surprise me, but it does seem like a, it's a little more than you'd expect. Let's recruit. Recruit. Are you at full crew? Yep. No, nah, you need a recruit. Well, we could go ahead and build another starbase. Because why not? More guns. Because that's the only thing I can build with more guns. Now, I'm, I'm sure there's things that I could find by scouting this uh, map. Little hidden things like ships that are out of, uh, like broken ships that are off smoldering, but eh, I'm not that interested in it. And they just keep coming, and they don't stop coming. Alright. Everybody over here. We'll build another star base because why not? It gives me something to do. Recrew. Gotta go rescue the super ship. Now, if, um, if you remember or have watched my uh, Let's Take a Look on the game overall, the Premonition has the ability to do the, um, the research facility uh, attack.
Wow, no torpedo hits there. Mr. Wharf, you need to get better at this. You know, I was just thinking. Alright. I was thinking. One. Wouldn't it be interesting if somebody built basically all of the missions in this game into Star Trek Online because I know you can build custom user made missions and that would be kind of cool to try and recreate these missions in Star Trek um, Online where your hero ship I guess some of them you would have to be functioning kind of as an escort to everyone else but still that'd be kind of nifty anyway now that that thought is out of my head i hope you've enjoyed this and i will see you next time but before i go uh go ahead do all that youtube jazz like subscribe all that stuff because i seriously doubt the uh powers that be at youtube will allow me to monetize this in any way uh, even once I'm able to start monetizing it. So, if you enjoyed this, uh, hitting the like button, leaving a comment, uh, subscribing, all of that would help. And I am going to keep going with this series. So, thank y'all. And like I said, see you next time. Bye bye <laughs>